Hello everyone, I'm back and this video is sponsored by nobody. <laughs> I hope you all had a great break over Christmas and a happy new year to you all. I thought I'd use this opportunity whilst packing the van and travelling to the Lake District to update you on what's happening with the channel in 2023. My idea at the very start of this channel was to create videos of the stuff I did and it became more and more about doing stuff to create videos and that very quickly started to feel more like a job than casually filming my adventures. I built the van because I want to use it to go away to far and wide places to reset my mental health button. I want it to be an adventure station for camping to give me access to do more photography, campsites, walking and cycling so you'll be happy to know that that's where the channel content is going from now. I'm going to save my money and put it into traveling about to show you campsites and great camping locations. This is something I like doing the most and according to YouTube analytics, it's the content you like watching the most. I'd like this channel to become a one-stop shop for campsites and camping locations in the UK. It would be nice to have a huge list of campsite tour videos so that you can see them before you visit to find out whether it suits you and or your family. I loved our meetup at the Dalesbridge, shout out to Dalesbridge, hashtag not sponsored. But we won't be organising a large scale meetup this year. I'm not ruling out another meetup in the future, but with all that being said, we are planning on hosting several day meetups during the year at various locations in the UK. I'm also planning on arranging smaller campout meetups for 10 or less, for photography walks, or hiking, or cycling, campouts, things like that. So watch this space for future exciting opportunities to be involved with the channel. I hope you enjoy the video and I can't wait for you to see what we have in store for you in 2023. Stay awesome everyone and most importantly, be kind. I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain. Some things are not the same as they were a year ago. But all will be okay, I move on each and every day. The past is where it stays, way back a year ago. Hello! So I've arrived, not arrived, if that makes sense. So you come down this kind of windy windy track and stuff and then you come and park, sorry I'm spinning around making you dizzy, you come and park here and you go over that wooden bridge there to uh, reception and then you go check in. Now on their website, on the National Trust website, it says that you can't check in until three o'clock, uh, which I don't fully understand. So I'm gonna go try and check in now and see if uh, they'll let me go to my spot. I mean, it's winter, so you know what I mean? <laughs> right, campsite tour, let's go. Behind me is my plot, plot number 30, looking quite snazzy. Uh, next to that is plot number 29. And um, one thing that somebody did mention is, and I completely agree with them, is on most of the National Trust sites that I've been to, the plots are quite close together. Uh, so do bear that in mind if you want in a noisy night. Um, the toilet block, uh, so my van's just there and the toilet block is just there. So if you want to be near the toilet block, get either 28, 29 or 30. Look, we've got general waste. No hot ashes in the bin, please. Um, so yeah, that's ace. I don't know if you're allowed fires. Are you allowed fires? Wait a minute. Oh, that's it's just barbecue stuff onto the toilet block. Uh, let's go in the correct one because I uh, don't fancy getting arrested for filming in the ladies' loos. <laughs> I've been in snazzier toilets at a National Trust site. Uh, the one at Langdale have got proper snazzy toilets. But they're all right, they serve a purpose. Uh, they're functional, uh, there's showers, obviously cubicles and toilet sinky wee things that men use that women don't. But I'm guessing it's probably more of the same in the women's without the... Uh, <laughs> without the wee bits for men, obviously. Right, so 
what we've got here we've got a cabin um, I don't know if anyone's there so I don't go so what I'll do is I'll just film the cabin <laughs> so I think that's called the Lakeview cabin let's have a wander down let's see I hope there's no one there no cabin's lovely it's called the Lakeview cabin because there's a lake view in front of it which is lovely um, and it's literally like 30 steps until you get to uh, the lake which is Windermere nice lovely lovely look at this oh can you see the snow on the mountains there's a shot right there <laughs> I hope I could come here later on if there's no one in that cabin then yeah I could probably come here later on and get some photographs oh that was lovely yes lovely because uh, I don't think there's gonna be any photography tomorrow mainly because um, it's it's going to be throwing it down all day. I don't know what it is about me and walking in the lakes and it raining. <laughs> what you can see over there is Bowfell and I think maybe Stickle Town. I think it's around the corner and another hill. So yeah, I know Bowfell because I've been up it a thousand times. <laughs> what this campsite would be good for is launching your paddle boards or kayaks. So yeah, bear that in mind. Um, you can bring your water sports activity stuff, which I think is ace. Let's go for a wander around the rest of this campsite and uh, see what we can find us some more cabins over here let's go check them out looking a bit bleak though uh, because winter <laughs> uh, when i got to reception he said there's only three of us staying uh, two in the cabins and then there's only me camping yeah so they've got uh, washing facilities just on the back of the toilet block there um, i can't find the elson point though so just behind me is the uh, the low rate active base which i'm guessing you can uh, well it says kayak cycle hire and activities so uh, I'm guessing you can hire things to go on the lake and bikes and things like that which is ace or you can bring your own obviously uh, up here my favorite part of any National Trust campsite <laughs> is the play area <laughs> leave the play area before I get kicked out <laughs> so there's a full gate uh, there so yeah you let your little ones go mental while you have a beer um, I'm guessing down here as well uh, I'm just try not to fall over while I'm filming down here is a little bridge and a little access point to the lake uh, with like a boardwalk under the water I'm sure you better see it so this so it says when the active base is open please do not launch watercraft from this jetty please ask and we'll find another area for you so this basically is like a jetty like steps down and this water here probably about a foot deep uh, and then there's like a how do I describe it it's like a boardwalk under the water over there uh, which again is only a foot deep so easy to get into the water and then there's like this nice little walkway which is lovely which is nice I like this might be able to see it I don't know it might be just reflecting but there's like wood under there uh, and then it just it like steps down does the wood so you can uh, go doing your floaty things and then there's like a channel takes you out to the Windermere nice what's this up here Ambleside three and a half Hawkshead three Ray Castle one mile nice uh, and then this brings you out into the into the woods nice you can start your walk from here have a wonder uh, and a nosy which is nice so I've just passed another toilet block and washing area with waste disposal and stuff like that so that's pretty cool um, there's some more pitches here which is quite nice this is kind of in the woods uh, with electric hookup as well this is ace um, I'd like to come here uh, maybe during summer with a friend or something but that's nice that's lovely there's a nice big plot there and that's quite well spaced from the other ones although again it goes back to true national trust so you got one there another one there another one there another one there so yeah still a little bit close to each other for my liking so yeah if you're bringing your kids here there's all these woods to explore there's uh, I can see like a little bit more of a play area up there for kind of the older children uh, not quite as old as me I'm well I'll always be a child um, <laughs> So the shop's quite well stocked um, it's got butter and milk and spare gas canisters you know the little ones for jet boils um, loads of other little kind of camping and walking accessories a few little toys for the kids uh, postcards uh, it's got a coffee machine and I'm sure 
uh, like the other National Trust sites on the morning, like Saturdays, do like bacon butties and stuff like that, which is lovely. Oh, I bet it looks lush in summertime, you know, when all the leaves are on the trees and you can hear them blowing, I don't know. I'm going off on a one. I always go off on one. Right, so what I'm gonna figure out now, I'll probably go get a photograph. Uh, I'm gonna nip out to that lake view before anyone does turn up. Uh, get a couple of photographs and then get some lunch on. I think it's pot noodle time. Or oh, snack noodle, Aldi's finest. <laughs> So I think I've got some nice photographs of the far fells just at the opposite side of the lake. I've never seen the fells from that angle from this far away in this side of the lake. So it's new to me. So maybe it's just because it's new that I think they're good. I don't know. If there are any good photographs, I'll pop them up now. The light earlier was so much better, but I can't do anything about that, can I? Anyway, I'm here for two nights. There's two reasons for that. The first reason is that when you book a National Trust campsite online, the minimum stay is two nights. So I've kind of had my hand force there a little bit but it's not a bad thing and then the second reason is I do actually like staying for two nights because the first day is kind of like arrive get everything set up and chilled and then have a good look around and everything like that you know get some photographs just have a nice relaxing rest of your day in the van and then tomorrow will be a biblical walk um, which could go one of two ways I've got two options because there's been a weather warning for tomorrow for rain if I go too high that rain will be snow so I've got a couple of low level walks that I might do and or when I get to the bottom of one of the fells, I might uh, smash it up to the top and back down again. I don't know yet. It all depends on how bad the weather is. I have reproofed all my gear, so that's all nice and snazzy. So we're happy there. Only time will tell. When I get back, um, there are drying rooms uh, on this site, so I might be able to just, you know, shove them in there and get them dry. If not, then I've brought my, uh, my, it's not my, well, it is mine, I suppose. It doesn't belong to anyone else. If not, I've brought a plastic bag so I can shove all of my wet clothes in there, seal it up so it doesn't make condensation happen in the van more than it should do. So the rest of the afternoon, what I'm going to do is just chill out, have a snack noodle, maybe watch a movie. I don't know. I might even just have a quick wander around here. If any light happens, if the sun comes through at any point, then I'm going to run out to that lakeside and uh, hopefully get some more snaps. If I've got one of those snaps, I'll pop it up now. Have I? Have I? Did I get one? Did I get one? If it's not there, then no. I was just going through my bag for tomorrow and getting everything sorted and getting all my clothes ready so then I can just get up, have my breakfast, get dressed and get out. And then I realised I've not done any videoing at all since about three o'clock this afternoon. Um, and it's uh, 20 past eight now. So uh, what have I been doing all afternoon? Literally just chilling. It's been so nice to just do nothing. Uh, I watched a film called The Purge. Um, so if you're into that kind of film, then yeah, go watch that, that's ace. There's a few more of the Purge films in the lineup, so I might watch another one before bed tonight, but I'm going to have an early night tonight because there's a big walk coming tomorrow. Um, I've not had a drink, as, as in like alcohol, uh, because with the weather being so atrocious tomorrow, I don't want to add hangover to that as well. <laughs> So that's basically what's happening today. Bit of a quiet one. Obviously the campsite tour I'm coming over this way, but tomorrow's the big walk. I'm definitely gonna take my camera because I can get that out and get some ambient or atmospheric shots or whatever um, pretty quickly without getting that too wet. Um, I'm only taking the GoPro. I'm not gonna take this camera that I'm talking to you on now uh, because the GoPro, it's not a GoPro, it's a DJI Osmo um, because this is the camera that I'm pointing at now. That's not waterproof. Um, right, I think. We're laughing, I think. That's it. Right then, the bed set up, ready to go, and all snazzy and nice and stuff. I've got my uh, Everest Extreme Mountain Warehouse uh, sleeping bag, which is a full down sleeping bag out because it's uh, it's winter after all. Uh, but this this is probably going to be too warm in the van. I'll be honest with you. Um, I've used this sleeping bag. Uh, when I've been on top of mountains in a tiny tent and it's been warm enough. In fact, I've had to kick a leg out before. Uh, so yeah, it's probably going to be too much. But if it does drop down cold, just in case, I have got a blanket just there, just in case, so I can just cover myself over with it. Saves turning the fan heater on and going to sleep and whatnot. Uh, but obviously I've got that option. I can put the fan heater on or the diesel heater on or I can fill a hot water bottle if I wanted. So plenty of um, ways of getting warm 
in the night I've got all my clothes ready they're all folded up on the front seat ready to go which is nice and then on the table and um, I've got my breakfast pretty much ready I've got my porridge and my shake and I've uh, filled the uh, coffee cup up the AeroPress with coffee ready to go uh, so all I have to do is boil the kettle which has already got water in the kettle it's all ready to go it should be a slick operation in the morning fingers crossed um, and a banana um, and then and all my uh, batteries on charge as well so I think it's time now I've actually got um, hunted on uh, on the pad uh, so I'm gonna watch hunted I'm on episode 4 now because uh, I absolutely love it it's from ages ago it's from like uh, 2017 or something but I absolutely love it I've not seen this series so uh, today I'm gonna watch that and then go to sleep night night in next week's video I get battered by hailstones go for a walk on what was one of the wettest days of the year, my camera fogs up and I find out that my jacket isn't as waterproof as the brand would lead you to believe. I also visit the Langdales for some photography opportunities. Take care and I shall see you on the next adventure. you get set up in your own time and then you have a wander round you know the usual oh, take 1000 in <clears throat> and bad weather i don't want to have hangover i would just sort in my bag out for tomorrow and getting edited it i would just sort in my bag out for tomorrow and getting everything sorted oh, <laughs> oh,